shall Ringo Nation live to see another video? Welcome to this series of road trips that we're going to do all around the city of Izmir. We're going to be visiting some ancient cities like Ephesus, uh, Pamukkale, the Cotton Castle, and also some really nice beaches. We just got our car and we've decided to name it Aydam after the famous yogurt drink here in Turkey. Today we're going to be visiting the ancient city of Ephesus. Should be around an hour and a half from here. So let's get in the car and we can chat in there. Alright, we are on our way and Nikki is doing the first portion of this drive. A quick history lesson on Ephesus. Um, it's about 65 kilometers from the city of Izmir where we are staying now thanks to our friend Serdar. Ephesus is an ancient Greek city and it was built around the year 10 BC. I love Roman history so I'm really excited about this portion of the trip and hope you are too. What's crazy about this trip is that it's in the middle of a very strict lockdown here in Turkey so we have the roads absolutely to ourselves. We have made it here to the ancient Greek city of Ephesus. It was actually much faster than we imagined. It only takes about 45 minutes. I guess we're used to riding the buses which take much longer, but in a car it was really quick. But we're about to go in and see what we can find there. Okay, we're at the first site here in Ephesus. This is the amphitheater. The entry is 120 lira. And actually Ephesus was one of the most important um, cities in the Roman Empire. A lot of people think that the main sites are in Italy or in Greece, but um, there's a lot of Roman Empire history here in Turkey as well. And of course, because of the Turkish lockdown, we are some of the only tourists here. Now we're in one of the coolest spots here in Ephesus. It's a very popular one, as you can see. This is the Celsus Library. It was built around 117 AD, and it served as a monumental tomb for Gaius Julius Celsus, the governor of the province of Asia. I'm totally overwhelmed by this place. It's so beautiful. So as you enter the ancient city of Ephesus, there will be some people telling you that then you can't get anything in here. Well then how did we get these, huh? We got this water and we got this basil maracuja drink. That, really good actually. Yeah, it's really good. Um, for a total of 28 lira. 28 lira, so be advised, you can buy everything in here. So we've now left the Celsus library. So now we're walking up this hill to see what other wonders await us in Ephesus. Shall you like this video? seen enough of Ephesus? Yeah, I think we should go. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> that was the second amphitheater that we visited here in Ephesus. I hope you liked our Roman gladiator battle. So we're now at the terrace houses section here of Ephesus. We've had some people tell us that this is like the best part of the whole thing, but you do have to pay extra. It's a 55 lira extra charge. See how the elite people of the Roman Empire lived. It's also cut off and covered so it's quite cool in here and yeah do check out the terrace houses here in Ephesus. The frescoes and the mosaic work behind me are really impressive. You really get a glimpse into what people's lives were back then. So there's a lot of similarities between the mosaic work here and the ones in Italy. And I just read over there that this is the largest complex of mosaic floors from the Roman imperial period. If you like that sort of history, Turkey is a must. So after we left Ephesus, we were really hungry. 
So we just stopped at a little roadside restaurant and decided to get some lunch. And here we are now. We have some homemade pomegranate juice. We have some gozlemi and some Turkish meatballs. All of it is delicious. So we've now finished eating, so we're gonna get into Ayran and he's gonna take us to one of the most popular tourist spots here in Turkey. It's called Pamukkale. We drove for about two and a half hours and we have reached our final destination for the day, which is one of the most popular tourist spots here in Turkey. It's called Pamukkale and it's right behind me, as you can see. Won't you join us for day two where we will be exploring Pamukkale and Yeropolis, another ancient town. Click on the video that's on your screen right now and I'll see you up there in three, two, one. Shall Gringo Nation live to see another video?